Before we get into the, the CAD tool that comes with the GDS uh, WinBid Pro software, let's kind of talk about the concepts of what it does and, and what it's using in the program. When you have a drawing on the screen and you click the CAD link, the program will actually create the DWG, uh, basically an AutoCAD file, that is saved on your hard drive and then any CAD program can open it. We just made a link that launches this CAD program. Uh, and opens that same drawing that you're viewing right now. So the same thing goes if you wanted to change your CAD program, you can go to change program and here it shows what's currently being used and you can browse for your other CAD program and change it so that it opens that. And we've had good luck with uh, Auto Sketch, but most other CAD programs can do the same thing. It's just basically running that program and telling it to open the file that we've created from this elevation. And the same thing goes when you're in the shop drawing tool. If you hit shop drawings and it combines elevations on one page, which is possible, and you hit CAD, it'll open with that drawing too, whichever one's on the screen. So um, that's that's how that part works. Now the files themselves, like here I'm using uh, it's a job called Showroom Entrance, and I'm in my US Aluminum 2009 catalog. So I'll show you where that file's saved. On your C drive, in your WinBid Pro folder, you first want to look for, I'm going to sort by name, you first want to look for your vendor catalog. So I know it's not the 2007, so I'm going to open up 2000, or the other one. Uh, and here's my 2009. And there's going to be a folder called, and this is using our latest version, you can see it's .19 right here, but a folder it creates called GDS Elevation Drawings. And inside that, it's going to create a folder for the job. So here's my showroom entrance job, and here's my uh, front elevation of that job. So, so this is the DWG file. It's a small file, only 17K, and uh, this is this exact drawing in a CAD format. So when we click that CAD button, all it's doing is opening the CAD program and telling it to open that DWG file that's created from that elevation. So, and there is a message that talks about the tech supports not included for this because it's kind of a free thing. Um, but yeah, that, that's really all that happens. So this CAD program, it can work with uh, DWG files. You can actually use it to, to open other files. Here's a bunch of other formats that uh, VectorDraw is the company that makes VBCAD and they're more of a development uh, tool company, so they're not like a CAD software company. So this company included this uh, little CAD program for us as one of their customers basically so um, you're not going to be able to call Vector Draw and get any help from them um, not to mention they're in Greece <laughs> but uh, they write good software for us to use as a tool but for the CAD software it's very basic and if you get into CAD you're going to want to use something like AutoSketch or Full AutoCAD uh, Easy CAD, Fast CAD, Turbo CAD, anything like that. But you can actually tell it to open different kinds of files. DXF files, which you can also create in our program. Um, I guess it'll even open image files. So all those things are possible with this little CAD tool, which is good. Uh, you just have to be able to figure out how it works. And, and that's what the following videos are going to help you do. So once you've made changes to a drawing like this, this is important the drawing has to be saved it's going to replace the file that our program created so it's it's updating that DWG file that we created the problem is back in our program if I make changes to this back in our program you're not going to see those changes um, it's still going to be the file that our program drew so just remember this is outside of our program you're, you're modifying a file that was created by our program but we can't go backwards and bring those changes back in so keep that in mind. We, we tried to make it easy for you by uh, creating the folder and the separate file where all this stuff is located. So you can make changes, modify the drawings, and keep them in this folder, and they won't change until you go in and change them yourself. So that's the essence of the CAD program and any other CAD program you would use. Um, and just keep that in mind when you're, when you're creating your drawings. And there's certain things that you can't do with, with the GDS software you should be able to do it with CAD software and you can actually add notes and all those other things in the CAD so uh, that's pretty much it <laughs>